You've probably heard this weird vocal distortion effect, like in the song Hot Girl Bummer by Black Bear. Friends are all annoying, but we go dumb, yeah, we go stupid, this, that. This vocal distortion effect that you hear in the song is just a moving shelf filter that gradually cuts out the middle frequencies. Here I'm going to show you how to add this effect to one of your productions using LMMS. Let's start with a vocal track. Here I'm going to use a sample of me reading the first line from the poem The Raven. Once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary. Click on one of the cells in your sample track line so that the orange appears and drag and drop your voice sample into that cell. Left click on the text saying sample track and this will pull up the effects chain. Go to add effect and search for equalizer. Now click on the gear and clone your track. Next you'll need to add an automation track by clicking on this parallelogram. You need a total of two automation tracks, one for each equalizer. Now go back to your first track and hit controls under equalizer. What you're going to want to do with this equalizer is look for the number 2. And the 2 is going to be your shelf filter. And if you lower the 2 down, it's going to cut out the lower frequencies while boosting some of the frequencies just above where that shelf begins. And what, as you move this forward and back, what you'll notice is that this frequency knob at the bottom underneath 2 changes. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to hold control, click on that knob, drag it over to your first automation track, then release. Now what you want to do is double click. This is going to be the automation track that controls this shelf equalizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this low, let's say to minus 12, and on my automation track I'm going to click linear progression, which allows me to control it and how it changes over time. And so what I'm going to do with this automation track is I'm just going to slide it over to the right, which is going to cause the shelf filter to also move. Check it out. Once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the second equalizer. So open this up, hit controls. Instead of looking for the number two, on my second channel I'm going to look for number seven which is going to cut out the higher frequencies and boost the middle range frequency. So again, I'm going to drop this down to 12. As I move it back and forth, again, this frequency knob is the one that changes. So I'm going to put this onto the automation track, hold control, click that, drag it over and release, and do the same thing for the second automation track. So click linear progression, and I'm going to make it drop like this. So what this one ends up sounding like, once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary. Okay, and if we put them both together. Once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary. It produces that weird vocal distortion effect. There, and that's your vocal distortion effect. Leave a comment below if this helped you in any way. Thank you.